Thank you all for being here again for this ninth Youth Respect election. As always, I wish to thank the wider youth community and also the Youth Network Foundation for supporting Youth Respect, for forwarding community members to us that want to bring value to the Youth Network. So together, we are here to build a more trusting ecosystem with more accountability for our public goods that we all depend on. So in the last few months, your support has funded many new initiatives and DAOs around the EOS ecosystem. We have now EOS Audit, that is for the people that provide the reporting for the projects that we depend on, EOS Respect community members to vote for the right projects and to make them accountable. So we also have the influencers and the video creators and everyone that wants to promote EOS around the world with the EOS Synergy community. And now this month, we welcome Andres Palmar from the Spanish community and EOS Mexico, and also Shuang for the Chinese community, with which both have joined EOS Synergy to fund their own shows and promote EOS around the world in their own language. And last but not least, we also have a DAO upcoming for the EOS Learn and Earn. That's for all the creators, all the people that seek to create educational content uh, for EOS community members and to onboard more easily all the people that need to be onboarded into the Web3 of tomorrow that we are building here today to build a better ecosystem where everyone has control of their assets, um, a more trusting ecosystem and, well, better than the one we knew before. And so the goal for all these communities is for them to distribute funding through the political consensus playoff method that we use here today. And so all the people have a fair chance of working, of contributing value and getting rewarded for their work. That's what the EOS ecosystem needs once. First and foremost, the day that the EOS ecosystem doesn't have or doesn't recognize the people that contribute value to it is a very bad day indeed. And so here we are today using the same political consensus playoff to fund projects that deserve it, that prove themselves to be accountable and transparent to the community. And all of you here today who are participating in that, so thank you. So for all of you that are watching this recording down the line, EOS Respect uses the EOS blockchain to elect delegates and provide accountability for funded projects. Uh, the elections occur monthly, and if you're interested in joining, you can simply send an email at contact at eosupport.io, send your resume, why you want to participate in the elections, what value you want to bring in the EOS community, and we'll onboard you. And so as we elect new EOS respect delegates, they will commit to identifying the best projects, but also report on them to make sure they're accountable for the funds they're receiving. And quick reminder, uh, if they donate through Pomelo, delegate accounts cannot vote to donate to their own projects. Uh, Pomelo rules dictate that a project owner cannot donate to themselves on their project. But they are always welcome to receive funding at this EOS respect elections and donate it directly to the projects without going through Pomelo. And also, if you are only allowed to donate funds from the EOS respect treasury to projects which are affiliated with EOS support, this is to make sure that we have a way of, uh, well, banning them from the program if they don't comply with the rules and bylaws of this community. So if you're interested in a project to participate in your respect or represent a specific project and you need help in to affiliate them with your support, you can reach out to us and we'll help you do just that. And so for these elections, for the breakout rooms, same principle as before. Once the election starts and you see with what people you are in, you can simply create the Zoom link for your own chat room, post it on our Slack channel and tag them to let them know that you've created the Zoom link for the elections. Uh, you are also welcome to use any other tool at your disposal. We have tested uh, Telegram video calls and recorded them. It works as well, but we recommend Zoom. It's easier maybe for everyone. So. Same principle as before. Once the election starts, you simply create the room for the people you are in. If you see that nobody has done it before, and then tag the others to let them know that they can join, have your consensus, and report back at the community room once it's ended. And so if you have any questions, uh, you are welcome to post them on the Slack channel at any point if you have any uh, trouble. And also there are links in the chat right now on Zoom with uh, troubleshooting guides 
and uh, anything you need to participate in the elections. On that note again, thank you all for participating. Very glad to be here again for this monthly reunion between all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, I just have a question, which is um, how much EOS um, are the elected earn uh, for this election? Can we see somewhere? It was always around 100 years or more. Uh, but I don't have the specific amount. But in my so far as I recall, it was around 100, uh, 165. Yeah, it's on the disbursement. Yeah amount 165 that's it oh yeah in like in treasury and yeah that's it okay the display there okay i see thank you thank you bishop yeah you're welcome thank you bishop thank you. and hello everyone so far that just joined pian taha and martin welcome hola hola hey everyone <laughs> yeah perfectly one how are you doing today? All doing well, thank you. All right. Hello, Veronica and uh, Sukanta. Glad to see you all back. And so the elections will be starting shortly now. And we have our groups. So you can all check at the use respect slash election. And you can already see with whom you are. If uh, you want to disclose that you're creating Zoom room. <clears throat> we'll just see with whom you are. And you can already create the Zoom link for your own room. I create a room for round, um, room uh, one, is it? No, wait. Sukanta, Sebastian, Wilfred, I can create a room. Sure, Marcos, please do that, please, thanks. And again, create the Zoom link with uh, directly on Zoom and not through the website. We are still solving an issue with that. So directly create it with the Zoom application and of the website. And uh, yeah, so Nicola, Tran, Taha, and Shu who are with me, I'll create the Zoom link for our room. And the uh, administrator. Okay, so I'll be creating the Zoom link for my room, posting it on Slack channel, and I'll see you all back after the election. So you're welcome to come back at the community room once it's ended, and uh, we'll cover how the accounting works, as always, for the projects. And if you have any questions, any trouble, well, reach out to us on Slack at any time, and we'll be there to help you. See you all back after the election, and good luck. Welcome back, everyone. So we finished our consensus in our group. Elected uh, Nicolas from USBs, uh, who will be distributing the funding also to the Vietnamese community and Tran. So we found a nice consensus. And so far, I see almost all the groups have found consensus as well on their delegates. Uh, in group one, we have Aza for the uh, EOS Pulse, EOS Synergy Community. Uh, group three, we have Nicolau with us. Uh, Sukanta in group four. And uh, Christian Rincon in group five and Andres Palmar for EOS Mexico and the Spanish community in group six. 
And we're waiting on the consensus of group two with Jenny, Marco, uh, Yuan to the moon, and Ji Yong. All right. So still about 10 minutes left for well, the first round to finish. And after that, I'll be doing a quick recap on the accounting, how it works, for your respect. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Bishop. How are you doing? Hello, Fian. Very well, thank you. Hope you're doing well as well. Yeah, I'm Sangyong. <laughs> oh, Sangyong. Oh, yeah. Sang I'm Sangyong. Oh, you're with the account uh, from Dario. Yeah, I'm hosting it. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I recognized your voice, but I thought I saw Thian speaking on the uh, Zoom link. <laughs> I think, what? This is Sangyong's yeah. voice. And the, he, where is he? <laughs> okay. All okay. oh, good. I guess I... Pause it. Richard consensus. Uh, we had a, such a good uh, meeting together. There was no argument or anything. We just like support each other and we just share the opinion and ideas. And yeah, I, I, I think this kind of process definitely bring the value to this community and it's going to benefit the whole youth ecosystem for sure. I have strong um, the, the beliefs about this. So, yeah, it was really mm. great. I appreciate the hardest vibe and his energy. He's always positive and always want to like, you know. Oh, yes. Has yeah. been doing great work with uh, EOS Pulse and the African community. And yeah, we are here to test the EOS Respect uh, consensus playoffs, how it works. And so far, after nine elections, uh, so glad to see it all coming together in bringing the community of EOS Respect and your support together as well. Works very well. So for it was the same for us in our group. Uh, we found a very good consensus and uh, split the funds between the two different projects, EOS Vietnam and also EOS Bees. And it was perfect, a great discussion. And in the end, everyone wins. So it's not just one project that receives all the funding. Uh, we split it among two projects that were running. Okay. So everyone's a winner. Everyone in the community benefits from the process. And that's uh, a great thing to see indeed. Yes. So very happy as well with uh, how the consensus went in our group as well. And now we're just waiting for the consensus of group two which will be, yeah, they have still six minutes, a bit more to yep. find consensus. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello there. <laughs> And I think Tian so, want to say something. You want to share some idea? You're doing a really yeah. great job too. Yeah. I think I was lucky because no one else in my group uh, participated in a proposal in the election. And this was a bit funny because I had no intention to participate in this election just to cast my vote. So um i only added my proposal a few minutes ago so if i was i was that if i had no proposal for this election i know group we will not have a delegate Oh, there's always a delegate in the end. I mean, it's always happened to me that, yes, you can find a group where you, no one is running. But in the end, uh, since we are all members of your support, we can still uh, elect ourselves or represent another project. So that happened many times. N nobody had a specific project they wanted to represent, but we all have projects that we love on EOS and that uh, we want to support on Pomelo. And so in the end, we can always choose to support a Pomelo project and help report on that project. So there's always something that we love 
in the OS community. There's always a project that we want to support and bring funding to. So in the end, we always have a delegate. So there's always someone that loves, of course, some specific projects in the OS community or wants to support someone that brings value to the OS community. And that's why the process works in the end, because we all love something in the OS community. We all have something that we want to support. And I guess it was the same for you, Fian. And so for your, what's your specific uh, promise for the uh, funding distribution then? Use the funds to support, use energy, use learning in air, and use audit in the upcoming mm -hmm. next uh, Pomelo, uh, Pomelo season and bring back my support that I, I had in the, in my previous election to back to this projects. Hmm. All right, perfect. <clears throat> so that's a good example of how we can distribute funding at the US respect elections in our group between different projects and how it works. It was the same for my group. It was the same for Sangyong as well and many other groups. So we just, just not only elect one project, but we find yeah. consensus on how to distribute the funding between different projects that we all love. So everyone's a winner in the end. So that's what I love about the yeah. process. Yeah, it I brings the community the together. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good opportunity to collaborate, to find others, what they are working on, what they love, and together find consensus on how to distribute the funding. So as the community grows, how we as we receive more funding for the respect treasury, this will only grow. And uh, same goes as the community grows, the funding will grow, and we'll have more opportunities to distribute even more funding to different projects based on this consensus that we have. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, it's easily to me to choose this produce because I participate and as an auditor in the US audit community, and it was great to have uh, Shuang that is part of the US audit community, also in my group, and also Terry want to join us in the US audit. That, that that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. I find it very, very interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, having different communities being created for the same purpose of distributing funding based on consensus between the members, I was very, very passionate about that. So we have EOS Synergy, which is the place for the people that want to promote EOS in different languages. And we have Andres Palmar, which just joined this month for the EOS Spanish community, EOS Mexico. We've always had Haza with uh, the African community. And now we also have Shuang that has uh, launched the, the show for the Chinese community, which is called EOS Exploration Journey. Uh, the events, he has more than 100 participants uh, almost each time. So very happy to see that they all have a place, EOS Synergy, where they will have also the opportunity to distribute funding based on consensus to help the, all the people that want to promote EOS all around the world. And that's what we need. So we are building a new Web3, a new autonomous, a new place with more liberty, more self-custody of our assets, a better system for the people of the world. And that's what we need. We need people all around the world to be promoting it in their own language, helping people that don't know anything about this new Web3 to onboard them into it and help them, well, enjoy all the advantages and technology that EOS has to offer for the Web3. So use Synergy for promoting the contents, use audits to providing all the resources, all the audits of the uh, projects that we need. We need that information here at EOS Respect to make the informed decisions that we make during the elections. And so after that, we also have EOS Learn and Earn for the educators and the people that want to create tutorials and guides in different languages as well. So the more communities like this we have, the better we will do. Because so far, it has been working very well for your respect. After nine elections, now we can see today we have consensus in all the groups, uh, ending in three seconds now. Do we have consensus? And yes, group two has found consensus as well on Marco. So we have, we have consensus in all the groups. All the groups have distributed funding uh, based on their consensus between different projects. And there we are. Oh, and we have a standoff. Damn. Let's see. 
I think we have still 10 minutes left. Yes. So there's still 10 minutes for them to find the last consensus in group two. Okay. Let's see. Okay, back. Uh, okay, group two has consensus so far. And if Jenny, oh, so there was a, a last minute change. So Marco was first elected and then, yeah, voting changed to Evgeny. Good. Very, very good to see what the discussion was in that group and how they found consensus. Okay. Yeah, round one will finalize in eight minutes. Yeah. Well, let's see, we'll wait a few more minutes for the round one to finalize and uh, welcome back if Jenny and all the people in group two once they have finished on their end. And after that, I'll quickly go through again how the accounting works for your suspect, how you can submit your promises and do the accounting for the projects that you've distributed funding to. That's great. Uh, Nicholas, you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, hi guys. Yeah, hear you, Samuel. Hello, yeah. I just saw that you elected again. Congratulations. And as far as I know, that you have been elected since we started the youth respect election quite every time, right? So uh, what was your um, strategy? Uh, what was your promise? And what was your specific plan to use those funds? Um, yeah, so yeah, I said that I would I will use the fund to to fund the swamp for your support or directly, whether it's from uh, Randall Twitter account or your support. Uh, I guess we we talked about Randall because I think Randall makes really good tweets with great content in it, and it speaks it really speaks to the African community, obviously because our bees are mostly African. So yeah, we use this one to make um, a swarm for the for for Randall, one of his tweets. So we'll go in touch with him and see if one day he has a a tweet that he cares about and wants to spread the word. I will I will um, use this one to do that. And so yeah, this is basically what I said and got elected. Good. So I think that's something very good place to use this fund uh so how is the bees going was there any evolution or something changing or what is the specific strategy please yeah the the bees are doing fine um the only thing is that uh, since the evm launch we had a lot of content to 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 swarm about um we are going to uh, soon um start doing some for youtube uh, we are creating a whole process uh, in order for our bees to register their YouTube link. And so we will start uh, swarming YouTube video content. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much the plan uh, for our bees. The start to launch YouTube Swarm, which is correct. Is it correct? Yeah. That yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also the the last information that I understand regarding the bees was the Jesse also was very interested in the AI and the marker tasks with working with the bees. So what about that part? Sorry, what did you just say, Sing? I'm sorry. So the last information that I know regarding the bee was uh, 
Jesse was really into the AI technology, which is the micro task using the bees. Yeah. yeah. So is there any like news regarding that? I just so uh, the new bees is on the horizon. There's some kind of tweet I saw. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, we are using ChatGPT and other AI tools, but this is not for um tasks. Uh, this is not US related tasks. Like this is for other venture, I, I guess, uh, other businesses. So yeah, it's not EOS related. Related to EOS is, is that yeah we we want to go to YouTube because uh, I think there is a market there. Uh, we've been swimming a lot on Twitter. Um, and we, the thing is that we are really we we are really dependent on the fluctuation of the price of EOS because this is how we are paying our bees, and also the funding we get on Pomelo, uh, the amount of funding we get on Pomelo, and we had a lot of funding from last Pomelo season. This is the least we can say. So and also we are also dependent on um the content um uh that is published on Twitter about EOS. So for all of those reasons, we are trying to go on YouTube because there will be more, maybe more funding there, more content there. Um, so we'll see how we could do on YouTube. Yeah, that's the plan. Great. Uh, thank you for your detailed information and explanation. I understood very well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hope it, hope it goes well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sayong. All right, so welcome back to everyone that just got here from your group, Andres, Marco, Jean. Welcome back, everyone, to the community room. And thank you for making this another successful use respect elections. We have found consensus in all the groups. And so here we are, a successful ninth election for use respect and some more funding distributed to all the projects that we found consensus on. And so I'll quickly go over the accounting and how it works. So now that we have delegates, and again, congratulations to the delegates, which I will mention. So we have for this election in group one was Haza. Uh, we have Evgeny in group two. In group three, we elected Nicolas of Yosbis, Sukanta in group four, and uh, Christian Ricon in, Thian, in group five. And Andres Palmar for Group Six. Uh, so, Andres, a first EOS respect elections and already a delegate. So, congratulations! You made sure you found consensus in your group. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and so again, if you have any questions afterwards after the elections regarding the accounting, you can reach out to us at any time. And well, thank you for your participation. I'd like to hear a little bit more about uh, the delegates, uh, what the promises were. Uh, if Jenny was elected, but it's not here yet, uh, maybe Marco can tell us a bit on how the consensus went in your group. And let's check out the other groups. Um, hey. Hello, Marco. Uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> We had uh, one new person um, and one person um, that was only uh, connecting via the chat. Um, and it was between uh, me and Jenny. Um, I was going to split the funds between my project and um, the uh, you know, support, uh, any EO support from Elegrant, the uh, audit, synergy and respect to keep that going and the people there. Um, the thing that uh, caught my attention was um, the market in uh, Russia. There's not many people reaching out there. And uh, Jenny does a really good job um, creating all different types of content there. Um, and I basically asked, we'll make a difference on those funds. And uh, that's what we gave the support to him. We'll also consider the growth of uh, our networking year. I wanted to bring up that in the past, and if Jenny has done this in the past, contributed to multiple um, multiple affiliated projects. Uh, the thing that shied me away from that is um, not everyone's uh, contributing as much as, or being active as much as uh, 
I like, and I believe any big project will be uh, getting discussion around it. So I started um, looking at people that I already make uh, connections with. And uh, I know, um, I hope the, the new website bring us, brings us closer together, which is why my focus is on support, audit, synergy, and, uh, and the like. Uh, and then anyone I can reach out and vent uh, on a person to person basis with. Uh, I think that's where the strength lies. I think that's where the treasury is, is, in, is in bringing it all together. And um, people in Russia, the people that Ed Jenny connects with, um, I don't know who else can give them a voice. So I thought that was really important. And I know him around. He's the, does really good content. It's always, always. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you for your input and about your breakout room. I'd like to also hear a bit more about Sukanta, which was elected delegate as well. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about the consensus in your group and uh, why you were elected delegate. Yeah, three of us were there, uh, myself uh, and then uh, uh, And we reached a consensus uh, that uh, we will divide the fund between uh, three parties. Those are mm -hmm. your synergy, and uh, uh, second one is uh, MetaHub Wallet, and the third one is uh, your Nigeria. And All right. yeah. Oh, a good consensus again. So very pleased to know each time when well funding was distributed among different projects. So always good to see that consensus is found on distributing to many different projects, not just one. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sukanta. And of course, we have well Andres, elected delegate. I reckon it's for US Mexico and uh, the Spanish community. Maybe yes. you can tell us a bit more, Andres, about your experience and uh, on how you were elected delegate. Sorry to cut you, Bishop. I have to go. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. I won't yeah, be long as you. well. So thank you for coming by into the community room afterwards. And have yeah. a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop, for hosting. Bye, See guys. You. And besides Andres, uh, who have we not heard from? Um, um, hey, Marcus, Kanta, Nicola. Okay, we've pretty much talked to everyone. I'd like to delegate. Okay. So um, maybe Fian, yes, you could tell us a bit more about your experience for everyone that just got into the room for the election. Um, my second time being, being elected is a great experience. You learn more about the people at uh, projects. So it's, um, it's meaningful because uh, you learn something or how you, you can do things and onboard more people to this community that have a great experience. I think that anyone else than, that join us bring a vision of their visions different between what he thinks and what we doing. So yeah, you can learn always in this community amazing things. Oh yes, that's what I love about the consensus playoffs. It's always a good opportunity to meet up with different people at random from the community and collaborate together in finding consensus and specifically, well, uh, extracting the wisdom of the crowds. So all these different people that are, all have their opinions, their consensus, it's good to have them here at random at these elections each time, just to find consensus together, have their opinion and collaborate together, maybe meet some different people, know what they're up to. And that's what I love about the process as well. So two times delegates. Congratulations, Thian. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yes. Hola. So we... Buenas, Andrés. Hola. Sí, podría no, traducirme can... aquí. Hola, sí, también puedo perfectamente. Ya. Me preguntaba sobre cómo fue la experiencia, ¿cierto? Mm, desde luego, sí. Bueno, es la, como tú decías, ¿no? la, la primera, primera elección en la que participo. 
y de verdad pues muy contento de poder he eh, sido elegido porque pues esto va a ayudarnos a avanzar un poquito más el proyecto de Dios México um, tuve la fortuna pues de quedar un grupo con, con miembros de la comunidad que, que ya pues digamos conozco no como bueno algunos como Martin Lenin pues siempre están están muy activos no eh, Josh también y Vincent que me ayudó también a traducir así que fue un un factor muy importante para poder explicar ¿no? todo lo que hemos estado haciendo con ellos en México. La verdad que lo disfruté mucho porque, pues sabes, como a veces por el tema de la barrera del idioma, eh, no podemos como intercambiar ideas ¿no? entre los miembros de la comunidad. Realmente fue, pues lo, lo disfruté, realmente, y me parece pues muy, muy buena esta dinámica. Uh -huh. So it was the first election for Andres, first time participating into his respect. And basically he's been very pleased with the experience. So he has been, it will help a lot advancing the EOS Mexico, which is representing a community of show for the Spanish community to promote EOS. So he is very thankful for the opportunity that the funding will bring to help advance EOS Mexico. He has been working for a long time with many people in the EU suspect and the EU support community, uh, Lenny and more. And so now he's very glad to have this experience where he is able to collaborate even more with all the people here that he has met already. But with this new tooling and new consensus playoff, well, here in EU suspect, he has a new opportunity to go even beyond and have another way to collaborate more, receive funding. So that's basically what Andres wanted to convey to you all. And so he's very thankful. And again, very peaceful in his respective frame experience for the first time. And again, that's what I love as well here. So it's an opportunity to go even beyond uh, community collaboration and distribute funding based on consensus. And again, do that each month as a big opportunity also to uh, discuss all together. And Sang Young, you're welcome to go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Visho, your great comment, and Palmer, and thank you also. Uh, I actually wanted to talk to you, Palmer, uh, uh, since like you're doing a really great job, and the US Mexico is a very interesting project. So uh, basically, I would like to start by saying that I'm very grateful for your Synergy news show and your cooperation. So, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the East Mexico show, like in detail, like um, what kind of show the East Mexico is and what is the purpose of the show? Like, um, to be specific, is it a show for extension of Spanish community or show for um, bringing the actual ecosystem uh, participants to Spanish EOS community. So I'm curious about things like uh, how this could work well with your support and the uh, whole EOS community and what, what value can you bring or which value is bringing to here and the entire EOS ecosystem. So sorry, I think my <laughs> question was too long. Yeah, I just want to know more in more detail. Yeah, thank you. You can also respond in Spanish, Andres, and I can translate, of course. Um, sí, si puedes traducirme, le, sería... Mm, desde luego, sí. Um, can you repeat the question at uh, the end of it, uh, Sanjay? Just simply put, I want you to explain to us about to use Mexico in more detail. That was mm. it. All right. You're working with the Eric and the Veronica. I heard that you're working together. Mm. Yes. Just, just curious about it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, uh, la pregunta es, Andrés, que, bueno, ¿cómo funciona ellos México y cómo has colaborado hasta ahora con Eric, con Verónica y cómo todos los tres o más en la comunidad de EOS México trabajáis juntos para organizar pues esta nueva comunidad de EOS 
uh, para la comunidad española y eres México. ¿Cuál es su experiencia con uh, Eric, Verónica y la comunidad española? Sí, um, bueno, en este momento, digamos como, como parte um, oficial de, de Dios México, eh, por el momento estoy yo, ¿sí? Ahí estoy en conversaciones con otro miembro de la comunidad eh, que se llama Angeli, para pues, eh, digamos, pueda sumarse de, como de manera oficial ¿no? al equipo. Sin embargo, eh, digamos que las diversas actividades que hacemos, si bien las puedo proponer yo, también siempre estoy como consultando con la comunidad, preguntándoles qué le parece. De hecho, ayer se dio una dinámica muy, muy interesante, precisamente entre Verónica, Eric y yo, porque estamos probando eh, alguna dinámica para hacer la repartición de los premios de Dos Energy, digamos, de manera más equitativa. ¿no? Entonces, sí me ha apoyado bastante, bastante en, en Eric y en Verónica, eh, porque pues, son dos miembros que han tenido mucha... Eh, digamos, mucha interacción con la comunidad, sobre todo de habla inglesa, este, han tenido, eh, digamos, o pertenecen en el caso de ellos, los de Eric y Verónica, a ellos support, a ellos respect. Entonces, eh, han sido como en los dos miembros en los que más me, me he apoyado, ¿no? De alguna forma, o sea, no, no puedo decir eh, como que son parte del equipo de Dios en México, aunque me gustaría, pero sí han sido como colaboradores muy, muy cercanos para llevar adelante, este, digamos, todo el proyecto que, y la comunidad pues, ¿no? que, estamos, que estamos llevando. Precisamente el espacio del viernes pasado, hablábamos un poco sobre Dios en México y también les comentaba a la comunidad que, que si bien ahora pues somos pocos y que necesitamos aún más gente, digamos, de México, porque Eric y Verónica son de Venezuela, pues sí me gustaría que, que en un plazo, no sé, dirá, diría mediano, pues se pueda convertir en una DAO, ¿no? De los México. Eh, sin embargo, bueno, vamos paso a paso para, digamos, eh, avanzar, digamos, de manera eh, sólida, ¿no? Y ya cuando se den las condiciones, pues sí poder convertir a Dios México en una DAO. Pues, espero que eso pues, pueda responder la pregunta. Definitely. So, for the answer. So, on how is going Dios México and how it's formed so far. So, officially, Dios México, uh, Andrés is representing the project by himself. Yeah, another community member in US Mexico, Angelique, will be maybe officially joining the team of US Mexico. But he's always engaged with the community, the Spanish community of US, to see how they can collaborate and how they can help each other. So Veronica and Eric are indeed helping him with the distribution of the funding of the rewards for the shows of US Mexico. But so far, it's just that. It's just Veronica and Eric, which are passionate community members, which are just helping out. Uh, he seeks to maybe onboard them officially into US Mexico, but so far they're just that, just people that are passionate about what he's doing and are trying to accomplish for the Spanish community. And so they're helping him with that. But officially, it's just him so far officially representing US Mexico. The goal will be to uh, involve more people in the Mexico area into US Mexico specifically because Eric and Veronica are from Venezuela and uh, Basically, the best way to go is to have more separate organizations working together, but separately in their own local area. So having a community for EU specific to Venezuela, which already is the case, is uh, is perfect. So having EU Mexico, EU Venezuela on the other end uh, is uh, the way to go. And in the end, they'll be all able to collaborate together. But so far, for EU Mexico, the local community of uh, the uh, Mexico uh, EOS community. It's just Palmar launching the project, everything by himself. And he's been very lucky to have Eric and uh, Veronica so far, which are very involved into the EOS community, to be there to help him as well in doing that. 
so yeah so far the goal is to expand the US Mexico uh, team beyond himself and uh, he has already planned to onboard another people hmm. Eh, Andrés Sanguión también eh, preguntaba un poco acerca del de propósito del show y de la colaboración que hiciste recientemente con EOS Energy, para ver si puede responder eso también. Sí, um, bueno, antes de, de hacer la colaboración con EOS Energy, en marzo, la primera semana de marzo, eh, empezamos en lo que se llama el espacio EOS que es un espacio en Twitter que se hace cada viernes a las 9 de la mañana de México. Uh, y el propósito de esto es eh, crear un espacio, eh, en primer lugar, por supuesto, para la comunidad de EOS México, pero se ha convertido en un espacio para la comunidad de, de habla hispana. ¿no? Entonces, eh, el propósito principal es poder conectar a los creadores de EOS o sea, que, que están haciendo proyectos, que dirigen, este, digamos, eso, ¿no? Proyectos que son relevantes con la comunidad, porque el problema que hemos tenido en la comunidad de habla hispana es que no tenemos, eh, por la barrera del idioma, acceso como a la información, digamos, detallada de todo lo que sucede en el ecosistema, ¿no? Quizás se comparten las noticias, pero no hay un entendimiento profundo de cómo funcionan las cosas. Entonces, en estos espacios, hemos hecho 11 hasta el viernes pasado, eh, eh, hemos invitado a, a varios creadores de proyectos, cuando estaba, por ejemplo, Pomelo, hemos explicado la dinámica de Pomelo en detalle, cuando se lanzó la IBM, la IBM eh, invitamos a Matías, que fue uno de los desarrolladores, que es argentino, y él nos dio una clase magistral, eh, hemos invitado a jugadores de Oplan para que nos expliquen cómo nosotros podemos participar en el juego porque hablamos mucho de Oplan pero no todos lo jugamos entonces y, y muchas veces la comunidad no sabe cómo jugarlo entonces el propósito ha sido ese como que traer a los creadores de EOS y conectarlos con la comunidad para que la comunidad tenga una, eh, un conocimiento digamos más sólido sobre el ecosistema y cómo funciona, ¿sí? ¿Cuáles son los proyectos que se están llevando a cabo en EOS? Eh, ¿Cómo podemos nosotros unirnos a esos proyectos? Hemos tenido a Void, a Starter, a, um, este, a Genki también, ¿no? De, de, que dirigían, hemos tenido a Bishop, ¿no? Que nos explicó en detalle cómo está estructurado EOS Support, porque leemos los artículos de EOS Support, pero no entendemos cómo está su historia, cómo funciona, ¿no? todo. Entonces, ese ha sido el objetivo principal. Este, luego, bueno, con, con Neo Synergy, lo, la ventaja es que nos están proporcionando un incentivo que es muy importante para que podamos hacer crecer la comunidad, que son los 50 euros que, reparti que repartimos cada semana, a partir de la semana pasada. Este, entonces, lo que estamos haciendo es eh, incentivar a la comunidad para que aprenda. En primer lugar, hacemos que lean los reportes que hace Synergy, que hace New Support, porque sabemos que se comparten muchas veces, pero no siempre se estudian o se leen. Entonces, eh, el objetivo de esto es que tengamos una comunidad informada, una comunidad preparada, que, que sepa, digamos, lo que sucede en el ecosistema, y eso, eso nos hace pues, una comunidad mucho más fuerte, ¿no? Y bueno, estamos en una etapa inicial, pero trabajando fuerte para poder avanzar, digamos, eh, lo más pronto eh, en todos los campos en que la comunidad crezca, que incluso miembros se animen y lancen proyectos, y pues esa es un poco, ¿no? La, lo, la dinámica que se ha derivado de esta, de esta colaboración con el trabajo previo de EOS México. So for the answer, uh, so Sang Young asked about uh, the collaboration between EOS Synergy and uh, EOS Mexico, how he envisioned everything on that end. So there are lots of news are translated uh, into Spanish by your support and many other members in the uh, 
and this is community right here and it's uh, good to have so many articles translated of course and having so many tutorials for the Spanish community already available but he thinks that it's vital to also engage the community in live shows to educate them about them so for Eosynergy Andreas wanted to promote Eosynergy in specific shows for bringing together the creators that want to contribute to your synergy. Your synergy is made just for that, for bringing together everyone that wants to contribute in creating content for EOS to promote it around the world. And so for the Spanish community, he thought it was vital to have uh, not only tutorials and guides available online, but also a place with EOS Mexico and in one show where he can discuss everything about it and bring together from the Spanish community all the creators, all the people that may be interested in that so they can know live and answer the questions live and everything they need to know about your synergy and this specific. So he has the same plan for many other things. So for Upland, he did a, um, a show and for many specific projects such as these, he will be talking about them specifically in the shows. So that, again, the Spanish community not only has well, tutorials and guides, etc., but also a place where they can learn live about it. And that's the goal also with your synergy and all the different shows for Aza, for Shuang in the Chinese community, is having that, but for every language around the world. So every community speaking the same language can at least have a place where they can discover more about EOS and what it brings into specific uh, dedicated shows with specific themes that was the case for your synergy and what uh, palmar tried to do uh, because he thinks yeah having specific uh, shows for specific themes for the people in the spanish community to know about is vital and and he wants an informed community yeah because an informed community will be a good and valuable community for years and the way to go is with specific shows about it yeah so thank you, Andres, for the, uh, for the answer. Yeah. And thank you, Fian, uh, as well. Also, uh, also, I want to add that um, one, of, one of the most important uh, things I see in Els Mexico is that currently it is working like a hub for the Spanish community. The name says Els Mexico, Mexico but uh, for one reason, for one reason or another, uh, all the span all Spanish people that is currently working on EOS uh, go to EOS Mexico and there is always people asking for help. There is always uh, people at this. So it's a, a very active uh, group in the Spanish community. So it's a, uh, a very good start. Uh, uh, a very good medium to join the Spanish community and the uh, the show that Palmar is doing every Friday uh, is very good. Uh, we all have noticed that everyone of, of us are doing things in else, but we didn't know uh, each other. Uh, so the Twitter space in El Mexico and the very active the group has uh, allow allow us to to know uh, the Spanish community more, the Latin American community more. So it, this is something that makes us think: okay, why why can what what can I do more for EOS? I have a group. I have uh, many people that is uh, talking my own language, so uh, I think the 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 work is doing El Mexico is very good at this time. The community is active, is alive, is alive, is 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 thriving, uh, a thriving community. So uh, a very good place to to be, uh, a very good place to learn, a very good place to. Uh, get people from other side and join join to us and teach them how uh, how the blockchain works uh, what is else what is the history of else because 
you know that if there will be more people online that will be uh, able to, to answer the, uh, the questions for, for the people no? in live, in, in, in a practice Telegram chat, okay? So it's a very good place right now. Currently it's working like a Spanish hook for all the people talking uh, our language. Definitely agree. Uh, you can go ahead, uh, Jin. Yeah, I just uh, some question. Uh, how many people attend the US, US Mexico community? Y ahora somos como eh, sacando los bots. <laughs> Hay como 50, 50 miembros en el, en el grupo, más o menos. Mm. So there's uh, 50 people in the EOS Mexico group so far. It's very new and so far, yeah, around 50 people in the group. Yeah, that's not bad for a start. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> got to start somewhere. And yeah, Sang Jong, you can go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to comment about um, in regards of why uh, Andres Hame address about it and Eric, thank you. And Bishop, really thank you for your translation and the communication. It was really, I know it's not very easy, but it was truly really amazing. Yeah. No, my pleasure. Thank you for your summary. Yeah. And translation. And uh, personally, I'm really looking forward to like working more closely with Sp Spanish community in the future. And yeah. And the Spanish community is one of the largest is communities I know, and your support is awareing of that uh, is very important language community. And to Eric and Fian, you're doing a really good job, and I'm really um, looking for your good job too and partner. So, yeah, work together, come together, and we'll, this will benefit all community. I yeah, believe. Thank you. Oh, yes. So at your support, uh, Randall Roland, our CEO, and all the administrators, we are very aware of how difficult it is to pull together a specific community in a specific language. So, of course, we have EOS Mexico, EOS Venezuela, but a single hub to bring together all the people that speak Spanish uh, or all the people that speak Chinese, etc. Very complicated to do because you have to pull funding, you have to put the resources to build a website or a single community hub for all the Spanish community or all the Chinese community. And so we were aware of that. And you, many of you know that we have been working on a second version of the EOS support website. We have many new features, uh, the DApp rating collection, a EOS roadmap, everything the users need to better know the EOS ecosystem. We're going to have that in the second version of the new website, which will be coming online in the following weeks. And one good thing it has, the second version, is community hubs. So for all the Spanish community and all our nine supported language at EOS support, every language is going to have its own community hub to share resources, to share content, information between them, at least maybe all the different groups that exist in that specific language. So use Mexico, Venezuela, etc. All of them will be separate in what they're trying to do in their local area, but all of them will have this specific hub on the use support website where they can all share together all the news and everything. So it was very important to us to have that. So all the all the supported languages among our nine supported languages out of your support have a place where they can come together and that's what's needed because it's very difficult to bring together all the different uh, communities in a specific language so we were aiming to do that and once we unveil it and test it out together uh, we hope that we'll bring even more together and be in a, another tool the specific languages can use to bring them all together hmm. And well, thank you all again for all the the questions and, and participation in this community room today after the election. I uh, won't be long. Uh, it's around uh, noon here in France. Uh, I haven't eaten yet. It always 
falls around the same time for me. But in any case, it's been a pleasure. Uh, if there's any more questions uh, that some of you may like to uh, ask the others, uh, I'd be welcome to translate again or you just, uh... in any case, it was a brilliant conversation so far. So very happy to have been another part of this successful ninth EOS respect elections. Thank you all for attending. Yeah, I think um... it'd be chill. Okay, so earlier you explained how to do the counting process in his respect and I guess everyone joined a few times here and how how they all knows how this consensus play off working. So yeah, I have no more questions. I guess everyone has no more questions too. So hmm. um just quickly want to say a my appreciation to Thien is doing really great job in the ES audit committee and we we are currently launch the expanding the ES audit committee there are a few members now the Shuan and the Jion is recently joined they are so and I just heard earlier by Thien Terry explained that that he wanted to join the ES audit community so I guess you wanted to talk about it right Terry oh uh, yeah I already got married is it okay for you like I just hope you don't mind and to say kind of like why you want to join the ESOD community and what you want to uh, do in there uh, I just want to know what happened in the election yeah uh I just uh curious about ESOD that what to do so I just ask to Tian about your audit so actually uh um I have a lot of interest in on-chain analysis analysis so I think on-chain analysis can help um your audit uh your audit so uh I wanna participate to your audit and I wanna know uh what to do, what I have to do in your audits, because I don't have uh, many information about uh, your audit. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe then you can give some of your experience into your audit and how you think others could contribute to uh, this specific community. On that note, I'll go have my lunch. You're welcome to use this community room for as long as you like to continue the discussions. Oh, and I'll see you all at the next Use Respect elections or before. So I hope before, always. <laughs> have a good day, everyone. See you all at the next one. So, hey. um, yeah. This time, we don't do more chain analysis because mm -hmm. the team of, of Pomelo Seirus that they want to do this job because it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So investigating and researching that on chain is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So we bring this to the Pomelo team mm -hmm. and we only create the report of the progress of the projects that are on the Pomelo seasons or affiliated projects. So we don't know more uh, on chain analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I understand. So um, I also have interest in um, Pomelo, Pomelo the, the project that registered in Pomelo, what they, doing or what they done so i i think um, um crowdfunding platform is very important in use ecosystem but uh we need um follow their progress to um yeah <laughs> so i think you so did uh need uh like, uh, sorry, 
I, <laughs> I, I just forgot. I, I understand your point. I understand your point. So the biggest problem we attend in this community is the responsibility that the owners have. Yeah. And we need to be that the project's owners be more accountability because we need what uh, they are working on. So that's basically uh, El Saudi um, brings to the community or jump to the community to know what exactly uh, the projects are, are doing or how they bring value to, to this community. Got it. Understand. Yeah, much agree with what you said, Thea. I, I completely agree with you. The responsibility is very important. Like some kind of bad actors, they get funded by public community and use network, trust them and give them money. But they sometimes didn't bring the proper deliverable. Like proper delivery or like even they don't respond or they just stealing the money from the network, which is so bad behavior. So um, I know the East Nation and the Pomelo team is doing really great job in regards of that they're doing such a good job, but also in a decentralized way as a community members, we join in and we're doing the East Audit. And so that was why the Martin likes the East Audit project in any way. So, the reason why that I just wanted to like Terry to say something about his audit. I know he was interested in it and I know him. He has really great skills about like analyzing the stuff. And he also like go through all of the social medias and sometimes he knows what is happening. Um, all of the on-chain, the use blockchain, you know what I mean? I mean, it's very hard to follow up all of the things because there are so many projects, so many transactions, but he always keep his eyes on there. Like recently the bullish, the exchange, the B1 was selling their tokens. Yeah, but he's, always aware of that and he's kind of doing the alert. And I think he will do a good job when he does the on-chain analysis and like GitHub checking those kind of work. And I know, which is a bit hard point, right, Dian? It takes a long time, right? Yeah. It's like a long, a long time. It's much work. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, Randall wanted to keep the community size as of now, or he want to expand more. But if Terry joined, I can tell he will do a good job. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Great, yeah. The reason Randall onboard me on new support, that's why. Because um, I see to uh, too many projects don't worry about uh, anything. I don't know. I want I wanna to know more about them. I have seen anything and then I question about the projects. So I think initially I my question was like um like attackers attacks to the owners, but I only wanted to know what we are working on. So um, then Randall asked me that uh, they like, look, uh, they like what are, uh, sorry, uh, they like um, the things I'm doing, but, but uh, she, uh, sorry, but he thinks that I can bring this in a more, professional way so they onboard me on new support and then new support was El Saudi was created and so yeah I think it's a great opportunity to, to me and I'm very grateful and I think that I am I do a great job 
I guess I like that stuff, analysis, and researching, investigating. So yeah, and it's uh, great to bring this advantage to the community and other members like um, Shuang or Gion. So I think that, and I think that, and I believe that they can do a great job like me. Much agreed, well said. I'm I'm sorry for my head is a lot of confusion now. Harris, what does it mean? Uh, my head is a lot of confusion, and uh, that's why I'm I'm not talking in a good way. No, 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 no worries. You I understand your point very well. Yeah, thank you for your comment. I just get your point straight away. Yeah. So um um Terry, you can also talk to me. Or if you want, we can attend a meeting, a private meeting, or you can uh, ask to me or to Dario the question you have and we can respond them. Okay. Thanks. All right, all good. All good. So this is the working together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, so. I guess Bishop is doing really hard job. We got like, so yeah, yeah. maybe Renny, you understand what I mean, right? It's very hard as a like, you know, when you lead the yeah. uh, whole big meetings and everyone's attending, and some no one <laughs> wanted to lead this whole meeting, but the silence made you crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I agree. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm having a heavy rain shower outside the window. It's too noisy, I think, for you guys. But anyway, yes. It's hard work. And I mean, everyone, it doesn't matter how many you are, but anything you're starting is hard, anything. And I mean, I've done a few starts through my last 40 years. Some are successes, some are what people call failures, but they are not failures. You learn from them and then you do better next time. So it's just to keep on going strong. That's the main thing, but it's hard work. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I guess uh, as a as a head chief delegate in a global event community, I guess you are uh, doing a lot of jobs and um, also definitely I, I believe that your insight and your experience will work very well. So could you please share? Like I just asked to you about this kind of leading. As a as a the title reader, you know, head chief delegate, you have title. So I guess you have similar concern or like thoughts, or you want to share some insights. So we we can learn. Can you please? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a good one. <laughs> no, but uh, it's as you might have uh, some of you probably are aware that I'm doing what is called the recaps. And that is basically, it's not a lot of work because I do, one of the things I've learned and through all my years, I've been in many different organizations, leaderships, sometimes chairman or whatever, in sports, government committee, different kind of structures, international sports organizations and stuff. And what I've learned is to listen to everyone, listen to all the different angles that come, wherever they come from. You don't agree with all, but just listen. Don't argue too much unless, there are factual errors, or you can straight away tell that someone is trying to pull something and those kind of things. Otherwise, I normally pretty quiet. Now I can't be because as you said, I'm yeah. head. <laughs> so it's a little bit different, but I prefer to be just in the background, listen in and point in when something is on the wrong way. Because with all those about 35 years of experience, I've seen the good and I've seen the bad. And that's a lot of bad. 
So the thing with audits and similar and keeping a track of things is very important. And to go back to the recaps, since I still skim through everything, read through anything that is important or watch your videos, and uh, that kind of, I do it anyway for my own knowledge about what's going on in the community. And then to transform that into a quick scroll into the most important facts, I'm always staying non-aligned. I'm trying to be neutral completely. I'm not aligned to anyone or anything. And uh, so but other people can hopefully benefit through that one a little bit because it's not easy. Be away from Telegram or any, anywhere else uh, a week, a couple of days. you got thousands of messages to go through. It's a hard work. Yeah. And if someone is doing it already, hey, yeah, use those things just to double check if you missed anything important. Just one trick, you know. AI is helping up, not yet, I haven't had time to go in, but AI can uh, probably learn, uh, be trained to do it very well. But it's not infallible. You still have to check it with a human eye. <laughs> yeah, I heard that the, the AI has some kind of, mm, it could be very good solution for summaries, especially I heard about it. And as I know, a few persons is very interested about like summarying the telegrams or like whatever, like to use the chat GPT, you know, and the recently the Google they launched the, what is it? The bot name, the name is bot. Bard, right? Bard. Yeah, Bard. B -A -R -D, Bard. Bard. The Bard. Yeah. yeah, but I just used the function a few times, but you know, it's not very perfect and it, Sometimes it has nonsense, you know, so definitely people have to fix it or whatever. I think, yeah, uh, regarding the the absolute labor to do that, definitely the AI could help. But I think as a, a final checker, the human's labor is still needed. And yeah, it's great initiatives and I completely agree with you, your point. And this is my personal question. I just you you told me that uh, you or usually want to be silent. I, I'm not sure. Want to be silent or just be silent, but you can't right now because you will head chief delegate. So this is my personal question about the basic principle as a community leader. Like you know, in the community there are so many kind of opinions and so many voices different thinkings and different initiatives, but there should be a leader to move. You know what I mean? So I, I kind of always am confused. What is the best solution? You know, there is, I think there are two kinds of leader, like you, we should do this, let's go this way. Or I will listen to you first and let's gather the opinion and we'll think about what is the best solution. Like. So the, the question is simple. What should we value, listening or leading? Like very charismatic, I, I don't know how to say, charismatic leader. Charismatic, leadership. charismatic. Yeah, leader. charismatic leadership is needed. Or just listening and just like, you know, yeah, those kind of coordinating is needed. But as I experienced, if I try to listen too much, it sometimes goes nowhere. You know what I mean? It just always makes the chaos and there's just people lose the way to go. You know what I mean? So, but if I lead too harsh, like you should do this, you should do this, then the whole organization can be very, very efficient. But as well, at the same time, there should be, it's some kind of complain, complain, complain. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure what is the best. Um, could you give me some okay. insight? Yeah. Actually, Marco put a good thing just in a few words. Different leaders for different times. And that is extremely true. That is very true. And uh, look at the Eden on EOS. We are about two years old now, and we're into the sixth term. And there's been a lot of good things happening each term. 
But those people that are here today, do we remember what happened in those terms? Do we still live on that that was built? Do we still, do we get a platform, a foundation? No, because each term we have a new gang coming in and they want to do their thing and then their thing. So what me and Mo right now, and that's a good example of what is very important, we got a, we, one of us, our RFP, well, the first RFP is actually to go back all six terms and uh, verify what it was achieved, funding spent, how and whatever, not as a police or anything like that, because according to the bylaws, we can do anything with the money coming. The community will decide if you get a chance again or not. But to actually have verified what did happen, we have a lot of things that have been going on, small projects and stuff, but no one is kind of pulling them together. No one mm -hmm. is synchronizing them. So what we are focused on right now is to go through that and we have our working group set up. Initially comes media and bylaws and tonight at 1600 UTC, we start up a workshop in strategy because within a month, we will have a focus going forward and how do we use it? And that's what me and Mo have some very strong ideas what we would like to do and what we think that Eden on EOS can do best based on what we have been and what we have been doing. And, but we gotta have community buy-in if it's gonna carry through from term to term to term. If it only lasts until the new CD say, now bugger it, we do different, then we have wasted our time. <laughs> so exactly. it, yeah. unity, unity is very important. And when you talk about different leaderships, my way of doing it, and just as an example, just as an example, you know, the Olympic rings, there are five of them. I was president for the Oceania ring in judo. There's no Japanese here, but anyway, in judo. So I was president there, which means I was also vice president International Judo Federation and for five or seven years or something. And I, in Sweden, we live on consensus. It's part of our upbringing to have everything consensus. It's a very sweet thing. I tried to run Oceania, including the Australia, New Zealand, and some 16, 18 island countries. I tried to run it based on consensus initially for a year, year and a half. And I had to give it up because it didn't work. You could never get people to come forth and really be open-minded and do something. So I had to change and say, okay, we do this. If you object, scream loud. And then we got things moving. So it, it, like Marco said, different leaders for different times, you know? I'm a consensus, consensus builder. That's how I'm born and raised and function. But sometimes you gotta be the tough one, unfortunately. Otherwise nothing moves. And that's the same like EOS in the early beginning, you know? It was too much, too, de too decentralized. So uh, too that's too my take on that. Yeah, thank you for your great comment and definitely there is back and forth and yeah, I agree with you. There is no right things, different times, different readers and different situation, different readers, yeah. All right, okay. maybe we can think about the point of efficiency or centralization versus decentralization, those kind of things. Maybe for the Web3 community, the decentralized way definitely will be fit to the thesis of the web, web tree because it want to give the authority to the community, not the centralized uh, one organization. And in regards of that, what was it? I forget. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, we need a linear leadership, not we need a linear leadership, not a... I understand what you mean. Like there should be a constancy, right? Because every time the new CD is elected or like new leaders can be elected, it just, you know, keep changing. Is it what you mean? Is it what, what you wanted to say? Did I say it correctly? Yeah, one thing I felt is that uh, we should have one leader to fix all the wallets. I mean, uh, we got wallet uh, which support uh, your main net, 
but there is no proper wallet which uh, support your EVM. Right, right. Mm. Uh, I I felt that. True. Yeah. So when when something first gets started, I think it's very easy way. Definitely, a little bit centralized, and strong leaders and smart leaders, and just they know what to do. And they have the common vision. Then they definitely a small core group will find a way how to do, how to achieve. Definitely, yeah. I, I just remember that what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. So, the 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 genesis member of the Eden, his name was Dominic. Dominic, do you know Dominic, Rennie? He is the one of the member of High Fair, as I know. Yeah, he. Or, yes, he is. Me and him had some a few discussion about Eden and how the Eden is going and what Haifa can do. Uh, what we agreed on was the current Eden system. This, like you know, the the use respect has no problem to maintain this or some find some way. There, there is no like confusion. Who has to? And promote this community who has to manage this election because the e support is doing the administration. And the Dominic says that it's very big right now. Who has doing the who is in charge of marketing? Who is in charge of the website building? Who is in charge of the social promotion? Those kind of things. So yeah, I think the high fact can solve the problem and the Dominic's objection is that too. And as I know, DS Mose, I don't know how to call his name. And as I know, he had a meeting with Haifa. Maybe you too, right? Yeah, we met with Joachim, if that's the one you referred to, just after we were elected CDs. Oh yeah, I didn't know about that. So yeah. what, okay, what is this? Let me just, just, sorry, just say, sorry. I'm a big fan of Haifa since a couple of years back, signed on very early and full of their development. Yeah. I, I love it. I tried to introduce it in Swedish politics here in a political party I was involved in and stuff. And what we are doing, us and Mo, me and Mona right now, with the working groups, we are trying to gradually form into circles similar to Haifa way. And because the Haifa is now, even with the Eden on the US upvoting system, and it's very slick, but we are not there yet in Eden on AOS. Basically, I mean, we only done one month and only two months left. So we're in a bit of a rush to fix things. Mm. So otherwise we get kicked out before end of a month, end of a term, nothing happened. <laughs> so anyways, uh... Haifa, Haifa, as you say, is a beautiful tool, beautiful tool, all the way from wanting, wanting to do things. How do you get paid? Because they require a community to agree, not the leader. The community to agree and then you've got your right. individual circles so it's a very good system and anyone who's looking for a good system to run a DAO and or the structure through smart contracts should definitely look at haifa i totally agree with that and that's one of the items but that is on the fundamental that's the platform so to say but then you also got to look at the funding how do you survive how do you receive funding and that is the key one that we start with tonight what do we do and how do we do it to actually sustain ourselves? Because even on EOS is today in a situation, if we don't really get things going the way it's hoped for, it's just an experiment, but we want to continue because it's got promise, big promise. And uh, if we cannot fix this and get a path where we can earn funds and also from external parties seeing that it's value provided for EOS, we are Eden on EOS after all, but that's part of the workshop tonight. We want to see if we can get a buy-in or discuss and amend our me and most vision to be yeah. able to that funding option a way forward. So that if anyone here, I see there's a few Eden members here, of course. So if you have a chance, I know it's very late Pacific Rim, Rim Asian side, 1600 UTC, but that's the workshop there that start tonight. And uh, in Eden, Eden community, the uh, topic on uh, strategy and workshops, and we'll do it on Zoom. Just jump off.
from bed to Zoom. So, but uh, otherwise, that's according. But those that are not present at that first meeting, unfortunately, will not be able to join later on, other than as an observer, because otherwise, you start discussion from beginning because they were not part of the first one or two hours. And we have a deadline. One month from now, we have to start act on these things that we come up. So, that's, unfortunately, now we are a little bit, like you said, getting firmer. This is what's going to happen. And then, we want to see hopefully amended, tweak it, twist it, so we get community buy-in, which is necessary if it's gonna survive the next election and go and threaten, <laughs> threaten, but to push the new CDs to follow through and continue with whatever now the community with us have built up. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I look forward to it. And regards, regarding the today's, the Haifa, uh, well, is it the seminar? What is it? Uh, the workshop? I definitely join it because I, I, I'm also really interested in how it's going to change the whole is project. There is a conflict yeah. time. Hi-Fi is having something five years to see with ANF. We didn't get mm -hmm. that time and, uh, until we saw, we had already decided on Tuesday, but we have to put a priority on Eden in that respect because we got to start this workshop off and we've been talking a lot about it. So we got to get it off the ground and get moving because we have a very tight limit, <laughs> time limit. So there is two yeah. important meetings. It's for Eden on EOS members at 1600 UTC, possibly about two hours, the first session there. But ENF and Haifa is doing a Twitter, I think it is, uh, Twitter spaces at five UTC, which of mm -hmm. course will be also very interesting. And that's because uh, as uh, most would know, ENF funded greatly Haifa to build it for DAOs and upvoting and similar. And so it's very good shows, both of them, but uh, each one has to choose what is the highest priority for them. Yeah, great. Uh, definitely, I, I would join. That's very interesting. Oh, yeah, so Eugenie has been elected head chief. Congratulations. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, it, it was my dream. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Eugenie. I appreciate your passion on this. And I just can see you that you really a uh, carry and you just like whenever the markets ask you to translation you just the first one the answer i just can see that yeah thank you for your uh, dedication to be your supporter and definitely you. you definitely will I'll, I'll believe that you will do a good job as a head thank you I, I believe in eos and the eos community and i hope uh that uh, eos will be uh, will be go to uh, the place that he deserves because I think EOS is the most interesting blockchain and the best technology, but I don't know why market don't don't understand it. And um, I of course I will continue uh, to work on EOS. It's my favorite token. <laughs> so so thank you very much for uh, this election. Um, I'm curious about what happens in, in your group because first Marco was elected, but then uh, the vote has was changed to you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, we that was my mistake. <laughs> yes, thank you, Marco. Yes, yeah, so we we chose uh, me uh, in first, but uh, then Marco was. Uh, made a mistake and I uh, saw that we have a, a little time to finish so I uh, voted for him to make a consensus so when he realized his mistake he revolt and I revolt it again okay thank you Eugenie uh, yeah Today election so far it was very great consensus 
And I, I'm very glad that we have such a deep discussion about many things. And I think mm, regardless of the election is very good to gather every month and just talk about and see each other's. It was very nice. And if everyone says that they wanted to say, then let's call it a day. How about? <laughs> wow, romantic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing, <laughs> All right. All right, let's go to the day. Everyone's time is my mom. precious. I, your mom? Oh, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you, everyone. Uh, Let's meet again. Uh, and Lenny, I wanted to have further discussion. I, I will message you by DM if you don't mind. I tell you, I, I, I have an open mic Monday to Friday. You might have seen the time. So except times like today, we have a timer running for the workshop. Sometimes I'm not on, but I'll let you guys know. So anyone can come in and just tell me off, give me suggestions, or just talk rubbish, whether or whatever. It's because I'm working anyway at my desk, so if anyone want to come in and discuss, but of course, private course also, if it's more serious business. <laughs> so anyone is welcome. I'm open. That's very important, to be open to the community members. Thank you. Thank you for your time and dedication, your favor. All right, everyone, uh, let's call it a day today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Have, Have a good day. day. Have, Have a good, good day. Time. Good experience in this selection. Goodbye Great. everyone. Bye bye. Goodbye, Sam. Ciao, Lenny. Ciao.